Hello everyone and welcome to the Hive Production. In this video, we are going to model an amazing 3D stall activation in 3D Studio Max. So let's get it started. First of all, I have a 3D Studio Max and I'm going to draw a box with 15 feet width and 10 feet length. Height has to be 3 inches. So this is my base. I'm going to make it to the center and change the color first. So I can see them in the viewport. I'm going to take rectangle, draw a rectangle with the parameter of 10 feet width and length has to be 8 feet. So center align them and put them on the right side of the wall. Now make them into a spline and delete this down segment. Take a spline, select them and go to the outline. And drag your mouse so you can take the outline. And after that you can go to the modifier list and apply extrude modifier approx 3 feet amount and it is okay on it. I'm going to convert them into poly, take the vertices and make the cut tool and join their corners like this. Perfect. When you do this so you can uh, duplicate by holding shift key and rotate them like this and uh, put them here select their vertices and select here and spread according to the corner of that side down their height do not collapse and now adjust manually their position so you can adjust their position manually like this perfect same thing happened with the first one I'm going to adjust this here and from the front it will be crossed like this that's okay and that one as well okay so these are the little bit cross uh, uh, design I'm gonna take box and I will draw a back wall which is approximate 13 feet and height has to be 8 feet but I think it is uh, big in size so what am I going to do I'm going to convert them into edible poly take the vertices and adjust their height and length according to the model so this is the basic structure of my stall I have taken them and I have drawn them now I need to take vertices sorry I need to take the wall and duplicate them by holding shift key and rotate them put them with the vertices downside and place on the left side of your stall like this select the vertices down their size adjust their size and uh, that's perfect Okay, so uh, this time I'm going to select this, hold shift key and make a duplicate uh, because I'm going to draw the border of this wall a little bit thick, a little bit and place on it like this and hold shift key once again, drag your mouse and put them here. So this is, the, this is going to be the border from the bottom to top of my wall like this. Okay, on this point I'm going to take a box and I will draw a box from the top viewport approx uh, 3 feet and 3 feet height. So this is my box and I'm going to select this box first and after that I need to adjust their sizing and convert them into poly select the edges and make them connect 
when you enter the connection select the polygon and make them extrude that's good I think we should adjust their size like this hold shift key make a duplicate and then you need to rotate them after rotating just you to adjust on the top of your table like this also select vertices and spread the vertices because it will be going to be the base of your table I'm gonna select the edge ring connect and give them a design like this after that it's my table okay I have these props you can get the link in the description from where you can download so I have this problem I'm gonna copy them all and paste here like this all right so this step I'm going to decrease their size by scaling and first I need to adjust the furniture like sofa and center table so I'm going to adjust their size and put them on the floor like this and also you need to put them this plant on the corner of your stall and this screen has to be put here on the front like this okay so I think we should duplicate the plant by holding shift key and uh, just select the I think we should delete the plant we don't need them just select the sofa and hold shift duplicate rotate them and place down here so I when I knew it to this so I'm gonna adjust this plant over there here for the time being I'm just putting here So okay, I'm gonna select them and adjust their position like this. After that, uh, I need to see this one and uh, increase the size by scaling and adjust. Increase the size of the plant. I'm going to duplicate this plan once again by holding shift key and after that you need to adjust here moreover you can go back to the this part and you can get the link in the description of this bar stool as well I'm gonna adjust bar stool here on the table and I'm going to duplicate by holding shift key more duplicates This is the part where you can insert on the bar tools. I'm gonna adjust. Take the box from the front viewport. I'm gonna draw a box for my SMD screen. So it is going to be four feet height and eight feet width. So I need to put on the background wall like this. This is my this is going to be my SMD. I'm going to convert them into poly, select the polygon, make them insert and extrude inside like this. So it is going to be a frame and then SMD inside of it. So I need to adjust the chair like this. Okay, I'm going to put this plant by duplicate here and here as well by holding shift key. But there are so many plants so I think uh, I think this has this one has really late. So I'm gonna take the box and I'm gonna draw a box. It's going to be my digital standee. So I'm gonna take uh, two and a half feet length. And height has to be six feet. Normally the size of uh, digital standee is six feet. So I'm gonna take uh, a thin width. I'm gonna take another box and draw a box uh, and we'll create a base of this digital standing. So 
So I can give three inch base and put them here. Convert them into poly. Select their edges, corner edges, make them chamfer like this. Also, select this box, convert them into poly. Go to the edges, make a connect to connection like this. Also, make them ring and to connection from the height vertical. So these are the details. Okay, I'm going to take once again each, ring them, and make a connection of two edges. Like this. The same thing is going to be happen with that one. Make them ring and then connect two edges. And the same thing we are going to do with the floor as well. Convert them into poly, take their H, make them ring and connect two edges. Now what we need to do is I'm gonna hide them first, go to the plane and this time I will draw a plane on the right side of my stall and on the plane I'm gonna take 100 length segments and 100 width segments put them on the base like this and now I'll go to the V-Ray and find out V-Ray fur so it is going to be my fur it's kind of a astro drop just lower their land is too much high and this is going to be my grass or you can call astroturf all right so i'm going to take render settings you can see these are the render settings on your computer screen so just note down these render settings and follow these instructions i'm going to go to the material editor and now we are going to start texturing first i'll go to the video material and then go to the bitmap and now find out the texture of grass and I will assign a grass on both the plane and the fur. We will assign grass texture on both. Now the select fur and apply UAW map. So I'm going to give the value of 4 by 4 I think uh, no, it's too much high. I'm gonna give them two by two. That's perfect value. So I'm gonna take another video material with black color with some little reflection, 0.8% glossiness. I'm gonna select this back wall, this wall, this wall, floor, assign them. Also, take another video material and uh, go to the bitmap, take this concrete texture. Assign the texture on both of them. Now apply modifier UVW map and take the box type. Also give them value 4, 5 by 5 and 5. Same UVW map copy and select the model paste here. So same W map, it will be here. Okay, I'll go to the map and find out bump. I'll apply bump, same texture, so you can see there's some crispy look on it when you increase the value of 100%. So it's kind of a stone concrete texture, that's good. I'm gonna assign this texture as well here. Go to the UW map and apply UW map with a box and three by three by three and the top one will be black after that select the polygon here go to the material video material select bitmap and find out this wooden plank texture for the floor 
go to the UVW map on the modifier list select the gizmo rotate the gizmo and give them a value of width and length by 3 and prox 4 and 10 percent so I'm going to select the polygons and select the center these two connection I'm going to assign light material the same thing I'm going to assign with this light material all right so think about this screen I'm going to assign another video material with white color and then to take the polygon go to the V-Ray material bitmap and that will be my screen texture this is my screen texture that's perfect okay so this time here is my logo of uh, I have done an Adobe Illustrator I'm gonna save this logo with the Genix logo and give them 8 version Illustrator 8 version so it will easily import in 3d studio max here I'm gonna import and uh, that's my Genix logo okay so you can find out its logo here I'm gonna take them here scale the size and make them extrude that's too much okay so rotate them give them a black color and uh, scale down their size put oh sorry put this logo on this pillar and adjust here make them a top hold the shift key and uh, we need to make the duplicate so hold the shift key and make a duplicate and then you need to rotate them like this from front I need to adjust here and from left we need to adjust here and go to the check that's perfect again hold the shift key take the duplicate on the back wall here that's perfect once again take the duplicate by holding shift key or scale down the size and place on the reception table I'm gonna give the light material so I can see on the black on the black background hold the shift key make a duplicate rotate them rotate them and scale up the size like this and put on the put on the pillar here with a big size that's perfect hold the shift key take the duplicate rotate them place them also rotate them like this that's perfect I'm gonna give the video material and make a little bit grayish reflection has to be high and remove the check from fernal so this is going to be a chrome texture I'm gonna select these big lo logos and assign the chrome material here this has to be glass so I'm gonna duplicate this material with glass give them a color blue color and refraction refraction has to be high so this is going to be a glass a transparent glass I'm gonna select these all the chairs select their uh, material and I'm gonna give them white color so this time it's a digital standee 
Okay, select the digital standy and apply media material, bitmap, and this is my texture of Genix. Okay, so apply the UW map and adjust the UW map here like this and this. So according to this, our model is uh, is ready. I'm going to give the color of the base uh, has to be blue like this. I think we should give them different color. Black will be okay. Okay, so I'm going to select the sofa texture. It has to be dark as well. So this texture will be good. Again, this top sofa texture will have to be pick up and I'm going to change the texture. This one. That's good. So I'm going to import and merge my LCD model. You can get the link in the description. So I'm going to put my LCD here. Place on here. Like this. So apply the texture of the screen is going to be this. Duplicate this LCD, scale on the size, hold shift key and duplicate. Like this. Put on this wall. That's good. So in the end, I just need to find out another thing. This is the light. I'm going to copy this light and paste it here. So we need to select and we need to select the light and the borders. So I'm going to put the light here. Duplicate by holding shift key and two duplicates. Set here. And once again, you need to take the duplicate by holding shift key. Rotate them and adjust them here. Center one, I don't like center one because it's collapsing in the wall. I need to delete them. And just, I'm going to set these lamps here. Okay, the center lamps are not looking good. It's disturbing the SMD visual. So I'm going to delete them from this side. I'm going to take the box. We'll draw a box light and put them on the top. Rotate them and by holding shift key I need to duplicate them. The two duplicates I'm gonna assign light material so it will going to be kind of a light and this. Alright I'm gonna go to the import and merge. You can get the link in the description of studio light tutorial. I'm gonna draw import my studio light setup here it is my setup i'm going to take the camera and I'll turn on the auto key and set the camera like this and uh, okay we have missed the floor go to the polygons and take the polygons from the center here here and uh, here, go to the material and give them light material like this. So, for that purpose, we need to get the neon lights. Okay, I'm gonna change that background color has to be dark. Now we will take the render. Wow, that's good. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like this, so subscribe my channel, press the bell icon. Thank you so much.